Good morning, Andrea Adamo. Buongiorno. How are you? <laughs> Good morning, Annette Covari. Mm. <laughs> I'm quite okay, thank you. Well, more or less, because uh, in Germany in this moment, uh, in Bayern, because you know Germany is um, it's a confederation of different uh, land, uh, no? and in Bayern in this moment, of course, there is this lockdown, but at this moment the situation is a bit easier than other countries in the world. So, so far, uh, we are, uh, uh, let me say, quite uh, living um, a better situation than other countries that uh, are facing, for sure, much uh, worse the situation. So, so far, as long as we can use this word, we are more lucky. Let me use the word lucky than others. Yeah. How do you spend your days nowadays? Uh, listen, it's, um, it's um, something quite different from what I've ever seen in my life. It's quite easy, you know? I don't have to wake up very early to rush in office. I'm not having many meetings in office or trying to catch up flights here and there. Last year I did, uh, I flew 167 flights. So. <laughs> This year, I think uh, I hardly can uh, beat this, uh, <laughs> this record. But basically, I, I try to wake up uh, at a reasonable time in the morning. That doesn't mean 6.30 as always. And then uh, I try to spend my mornings uh, with the video call, uh, interview, and uh, uh, checking email. Of course, the difference uh, respect to normal life is evident. But the good things in this moment for me is try to be the most busy as possible, respect to let everything uh, running away, because in the case of the catch up of the situation later would be much more tricky. You know? So we are doing video conferences with uh, engineers and uh, with uh, other managers, uh, PR marketing, trying to keep the, the life going on ahead. The most smoothly as possible, of course, uh, being a motorsport company, it's a big compromise because doing this kind of home working cannot be that we let mechanics bring home cars to to be managed in their garages. But on the other end, it's good to say that Hyundai Motorsport is a company of about 254 people coming from 27 different nationalities. So just after Mexico means uh, weeks ago, uh, we decided with the other managers and directors to let uh, everyone come back home because uh, we would not have faced the situation to have uh, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, English people stuck in Germany with their families uh, uh, alone uh, in uh, their own uh, country. So we decided to immediately organize things like that, uh, even before that uh, would have been an official lockout from the government, local government. Uh, of course, it's a situation that uh, we are day in, day out checking, because uh, my job in this moment is also to be in contact with different uh, promoters and authorities uh, to understand when uh, and in which way different championship will uh, uh, come back again. Of course, it's not the main priority for no one uh, to come back to uh, motorsport activities or sport activities. I totally agree with the Olympic game, even if I'm not at all involved, but uh, if you try to understand what other uh, big categories are doing, I think it's common sense now to postpone uh, or uh, in a short, uh, reasonably short or long term, the big events. No? Uh, football is one, uh, but I think we have to face the realistic side of all this story. The, the first one is that motorsport in this moment is absolutely not the priority one of no one. There are much more important things uh, that have to be evaluated and uh, be considered before to think about motorsport needs. Uh, there are industries uh, that uh, are facing big, 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 big problems. There are people that are in a uh, Tricky, tricky situation and risky to lose their job, and uh, there is a much bigger problem that uh, organize. Let me say, governments have to look at and then think about uh, how to manage uh, motorsport events. So that is clear that uh, we will have to think uh, a bit out of the box how to manage the different championships because uh, it's clear that. Uh, 
we have a limited number of weeks. I don't think that before July, reasonably, we can have something going on, really, you know, because uh, clearly not every country in Europe will be reasonably okay as long as we can use this word in the same moment. And we can forget, in my opinion, that we will be able to travel in the way that we are doing in January when it was enough to have a, an AD card, uh, jump on the plane in the last moment, go fly, even uh, uh, going uh, outside Europe. No, I think that the world will be different. In which way different, who knows in this moment. But uh, my role and my colleague's role is also try to understand and be realistic. In this. So, we have to see what uh, what it will be possible to do, accept it, try it, uh, to make uh, the best is possible out of this uh, situation, of the situation that we will be faced after, and uh, try also honestly uh, in our situation to help the people to come back uh, when it will be the moment to their normal life, the easiest is possible, uh, to help them to come back to normal life. We are not the kind of people in this moment that can do much more than stay home. There are doctors, nurses, uh, people that is much more in a tricky situation than us. And uh, we have to understand and stay in our uh, position without dream to be more important than what we are, because we are not important at all in this moment. But maybe later we can be also part of the activities that can help people to pass by, giving them some sort of uh, enjoyable free time, but uh, we have to do it in the best ways possible. I think yeah. I'm speaking more than in what I've done in the last uh, 20 years. You answered all of my questions. Is everyone uh, okay by the Hyundai Motorsport? Yeah, 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 absolutely. In this moment, everyone is okay. It was my, our biggest issue and the uh, worry that uh, we may face some, uh, some cases because, uh, you know, as a motorsport company, we are traveling a lot. And when you travel a lot in an airport and things like that, for sure you met people from wherever. Yeah. And uh, that has been a bit a bigger risk. So far, everything is fine. Uh, we have been, we have faced no cases and uh, we'll see, but uh, the situation is not over at all. And how can you plan? How can you make plans? Because uh, uh, everything is changing day by day. We are not making plans, Annette, in this moment. We are just uh, tracing the situation and uh, we are trying to make... Uh, my job in this moment is make scenarios no, about uh, what is going on. Because uh, I try to split uh, the, the current situation of the next uh, month in three phases. The first phase is this one where we can just uh, stay home and manage the normal activities the most is possible uh, smoother, uh, smooth and uh, keep uh, some part of the daily job uh, going on. So having a video conference with the engineers, planning the development of the new cars, planning the development of current cars, uh, plan activities. Let me say we are lucky because engineering side, we have a, a designers, engineers that can re work remotely with their own laptop uh, connected to the company big, uh, big ones. So, some sort of uh, design, some sort of development can go on. Of course, uh, it's a hundred percent theory in this moment because you cannot have part to be tested in the next session. No? But at least it's good to keep this kind of activity running uh, uh, day by day and keep, uh, let me say, the tension of the work high because uh, if you let everything going on, it uh, could be difficult to catch up. The, the second phase is uh, uh, the scenario that we can imagine uh, can happen once that the situation will run a bit uh, in a smoother way. When I don't know, but let me say second part of the year. No? So how to manage uh, these uh, championships uh, that uh, will may have the possibility to happen. But I don't know if uh, just to name something for which we know each other, WTCR. Are we sure that we can do WTCR? I don't know. I hardly believe in this moment that uh, to be honest, that we can do Chinese events uh, or uh, overseas events, I don't know. Uh, may we, may we not? Um, I, am I ready to send people in China? And on the other end, does China ready to accept foreign people? I don't know. So we have to be open minded and understand what we can do. The same thing for ETCR, for sure we are getting on some delay, but it's something that uh, should not uh, uh, kill us, but should be an opportunity to maybe start to think uh, 
about the proper events uh, to be organized uh, to make uh, the things going on and show the cars uh, to everyone and uh, plan even better launch of the category, you know? And the third phase is 2021, because um, it's important to be realistic and to be constantly in touch with reality. Every car manufacturer in this moment, uh, when I say every transmits, every car manufacturer is losing an hell of money. Because uh, worldwide, because we are speaking about a worldwide problem, it's not a European, Asian, uh, uh, no one is thinking in this moment about uh, to buy a new car. So everyone is losing an hell of money, an hell of money. And um, of course, uh, in 2021, uh, normally you get the money up a bit the economical result that uh, the different companies get uh, the year before. So I hardly found myself uh, in an easy position uh, in December or November to knock to my Hyundai board and say, hey, do you mind to give millions of euros for that and that and that? If I will be lucky, I will be just a lumpy launch it uh, out of the window to the 50 or 60th floor of the Seoul HQ. If I will uh, lucky enough, maybe they will just kill me in the place where I'm sitting. So you have to be realistic. But to be realistic means to understand that which will be the real budget that we may have to do motorsport next year. And already anticipate with the national or international authorities like FIA and with the different promoters, because if we want to dream about the same kind of championship that we have seen in 2019, in 2021, there are two clear risks. The first one that no one will participate, and the second one that we are just trying to kill motorsport in the way we were. So we have to be realistic and, of course, organize championships with different costs to run them. So it means that uh, we have to shrink uh, many, many things, maybe the number of races, maybe the way we know the races has been done so far and reduce the cost. Because if we think that uh, we keep the cost as has been in 2019, there will be no one racing in 2019. And I already, in 2019, raised a big concern about the cost of certain categories that would have created problems in 2020. It happened, and then actions has been taken. I'm raising an even stronger alarm in for 2021 already, because uh, uh, we have to think out of the box, uh, we have to be realistic and stop dreaming because uh, we are facing, uh, I don't want to be too much tra tragic, but uh, we have to say the things as they are. And if we tell each other the truth, uh, we can solve the problem. If we start to dream and lie, we will kill ourselves, but uh, we are facing a sort of uh, afterward situation because economical wise, uh, it will be an afterward situation and emotional wise, uh, with all the dive that we are seeing in different countries, it will be something uh, uh, not similar, but uh, let me say it will be emotional, very strong. So to go to race, we have to be also for the sensitive and point of view very small. What is the most difficult part of this situation for you? There is only one difficult one. The most difficult for me is the the, the, the running uh, everything without a clear picture of the time frame uh, we have to face. Because uh, in this moment, the unknown is the most difficult thing. And uh, in my position is uh, to motivate people and to keep people working with targets that I'm inventing, because uh, I'm really betting uh, every day about what may happen in the future. But uh, my it, my, my main job when people ask me which is my job is to take decisions and in this moment uh, be the responsible of a team uh, of a company is to give clear direction anyhow. And even if these clear direction are unknown, I have to invent them. Uh, maybe I will be wrong. I will be 90% wrong, but uh, it's better than tell people, ah, I don't know, let's see, like, people need to have directions and I have to take the responsibility to give them direction. Now let me know uh, more about your days because uh, my first question was how do you spend your days and <laughs> we stayed by uh, by the Hyundai Motorsports uh, staff but what are you doing at home? Well let me say I'm, uh, 
I'm not at all uh, always at home, luckily, because uh, basically I'm splitting my day. Uh, okay, in the morning, most of the time, as I told you, I spend time in uh, video conferences uh, and uh, emailing, uh, chatting to keep up things uh, updated. And then I'm going on a bit like this till uh, early or mid afternoon. And then most of the time I'm uh, doing trekking because I'm left, like, lucky enough uh, to live uh, in, uh, on the hills. So I have uh, woods and uh, paths uh, on my door foot and then uh, my foot door. So I'm, I can uh, trekking so far thanks to the Bayern rules. So every day I do three, two or three hours walking and trekking. Or I have my bicycle stuff uh, so far in the living room because it's quite cold outside, even if it's very sunny. And uh, I train also two hours or something like that uh, every evening to try to keep alive. Then, of course, I have to, to feed myself. So I spend time, time to time to cook. Uh, maybe I cook a bit more so I have things uh, for the days after. And uh, I have to say, as I love the movies and I love reading books, it's also the opportunity to catch up uh, from the past. So, you know, I'm a quite, uh, I don't know how to say exactly, but I'm not really a um, kind of uh, man that is uh, enjoying a lot social life. So I'm not missing social life a lot because uh, I'm quite uh, uh, someone that used to stay uh, for himself, it stayed with himself, and also dinners with four people for me are quite uh, like a, a, a huge crowd because you know? I'm not used to these kind of things. I'm not the kind of man that are a fan that is a fan of big dinners, big parties. I'm so for me, it's quite perfect in this moment as I can manage my life in the way I really want. I try to lose weight as well. I hope it will work, but uh, let's see what is going on. Hey, what the, the most important thing to keep you alive, I think, in, for myself, at least, is to have clear targets. So this is a target that I can give to myself, and I plan to do, to do it. We'll see if I will do it. And how can you handle that uh, your country, I mean, Italy, is in the biggest uh, trouble, and you are not home? I cannot do nothing, even if I am at home, honestly, in this moment. I would stay close in a home, uh, in touring center, and my life would have been even worse than what it is now. And honestly, there are things in life that you can do, there are things in life that you cannot do. So I can just read uh, and see the news, but uh, yeah. I, you have to accept your limits. No? You can do what uh, you can do now. There are many charity things, and uh, there are many people uh, spending time saying I'm doing this and doing that. There are things that if you really think that is good to do, you do and you, you make publicity to go in church praying uh, with uh, many photographers uh, to just put your picture in social media as I see done is the most useful thing. If you really think that you have to do something, you do it and stop. What is the lesson what we, we have to learn from all of these things? I mean, mean uh, the humanity, and I mean, what, what is the lesson for you, for the person? We understand the lesson once everything will be finished. So far, everyone is so emotionally involved to not be cold enough and rational enough to understand which is the lesson. The things that uh, we have to try to avoid in this moment, but is part of the human nature, is to start to fight each other. But uh, as I told you, I like history and I like to read. And uh, what we are seeing now is exactly with different shades of what has always happened in the human uh, in the human history when there are a pandemic like this the, the, the process is always the same you have to find someone that is the cause of it uh, you have to find the enemy around the world and you have to find someone to accuse you for your own problem no without understanding that there is not real someone to be accused I'm just worried. I'm just worried about the fact that uh, we will forget the world as uh, we had uh, the possibility to live uh, till 2019. That is my biggest worry. That all the job, uh, all the political uh, um, management that has been done in the past to allow us to travel in the way we were traveling and so and so will be forgotten. We will understand what we get once that we will lose it.
Yeah, it's not easy. Let me know which is your favorite book. Ah, no. Okay. <laughs> let me say the. <laughs> there is not a favorite one because I, I like read. I like read many, many, many things. I like uh, to read uh, history books. Uh, I like to read motorsport books. Uh, I like to read uh, thriller. I like to read many, many, many things because I think the more um, you read, the more you open your mind. No, if you are just stuck to read one single thing, is uh, is very bad. I have the the luckiness to have friends that in Christmas time are uh, giving me books of very different kinds. And they open my mind, and so up to this, I, I read. I like uh, to read many, many, many books. I'm not uh, fixed on one kind of author mm -hmm. or on the other. I like a thriller and things like that. So I'm reading everything now. I'm reading a book that uh, in, uh, of which I forgot the author, but it's American Gods, and uh, it's quite nice. It's quite a strange one. But uh, before I read uh, Williams, that is the book written by the Frank Williams' wife. It's not a motorsport book at all. Yeah, I think it's one of the most beautiful love story about I read uh, in my life. It's uh, not romantic, but uh, as love story, real love story, in my opinion, are not uh, only romantic, but they are uh, uh, real life things. So we have to face the reality. You know, a love story is not only about the romantic; it's about mm -hmm. to face the life. And uh, I think it's one of it's one of the biggest love stories I read about in my life. Motorsport is a very aside, as it's of course part of the book, right? and it's a, a book that really taught me a lot and let me understand many things, and maybe also sometimes understand what is uh, really love. No, it's not just uh, uh, a dinner in a, at the table with a nice candle and the rose. And um, then uh, things like that. I, I I used to read. Then uh, I'm also watching many movies, and uh, I love. Uh, I always love to go to, to cinemas. It is uh, something that I, I was missing already before because uh, due to my kind of job, I, I had not really many possibilities to go to the cinema. But to, for me, uh, go to the cinema, it's uh, a bit like, um, I really I have to admit, it's like uh, children going to Disneyland or something, things like that. No, Because I always love to go and... Uh, with the kind of life I'm doing, I have less and less, I had less and less possibilities, but I always love to watch movies. So during uh, all the traveling that I was doing with these overall uh, flights, I was watching many movies. And uh, with the knees, with these um, Amazon, Netflix, you can download many. And uh, I was really, really enjoying. And uh, now, of course, I'm enjoying a lot. I'm enjoying to watch some TV series, but in TV series, I'm pretty picky. Yeah? I have to say I don't like every 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 one. I'm uh, in TV series. I'm picky. I have to admit it. I'm watching uh, some, and uh, I always watch a TV series doing uh, having dinner because I I'm alone here and uh, it keeps me uh, nice. Uh, allow me to feel less alone. No, let me say. And I have to say I finished not long ago the series How I Met My Mother and I miss it a lot because it's a really, really nice one. I enjoy it a lot because I'm also able to, to smile and laughing. Even people hardly believe it, I can do it. What are you doing for dinner today? I have a soup that I prepared uh, one day ago because uh, it's quite a, uh, an easy one with um, pumpkin, uh, carrots, uh, few onions uh, and uh, um, cauliflower and uh, so I cook it for a long 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 time as I, my grandma was doing and uh, so I will enjoy it. I try really to stay, let me say, the most is uh, possible uh, uh, with light food. No, But uh, the problem is that I live in a two 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 floors uh, villa and upstairs I'm living my landlord and landlady that uh, honestly are carrying me like a son and uh, in this moment uh, in this period time to time they give they left me on my doorstep uh, uh, something to eat and yesterday in these uh, diet people they left a big 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 slice of uh, local cake that I don't know the name but that I love a lot so sometimes I'm uh, I'm really have to self-control myself and these tests are quite high so I I decided to slice it in the small, 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 small bits and eat every morning a bit. Because uh, I'm strong, but not so strong with the cells. 
Andrea, what do you think when we will meet in the paddock somewhere in the world? What do you think? I don't know, but uh, it's difficult. It's difficult to 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 image. I I let me say like this. I would be very surprised if we will be able to do something before August. We will see. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you to you. Thank you for your time and uh, thank you, thank you to your, uh, let me say, fans for uh, listening to us. And I wish uh, every one of you the best and uh, stay safe and stay strong. Please.